Okay guys, welcome back to another video, and I think this is ruining Forza Horizon 4 not only in the game, but in the YouTube community. So Forza Horizon 4, not particularly different from Forza Horizon 3, Forza Horizon 2, or even Forza Motorsport for earning money really, is it? It's very easy to earn money in the game. It's been like that for so many years in Forza, they literally just give you money, it seems it's crazy. And obviously, you get a lot of money for doing race, certain races, like as many laps as you want on a race. And it's all very good. It's very good that you can earn money, although some people don't actually like it. But I don't know, it's just Forza, isn't it? We're used to getting a lot of money in the game. But for some reason, on Forza Horizon 4, the YouTube community, not everyone, because there's a lot of genuine creators out there for the Forza community but there's a li little portion, that small portion of creators that are just there to get views. Well I suppose every creator is doing YouTube or Twitch to get views obviously, I mean it's the whole point really isn't it? But that minority are there just to get views, to earn money and don't care about the content. Now these videos are money methods and money glitches videos. Now I, 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 it just beyonds me beyond me. So yeah, these videos are quite pointless really and it does sort of ruin Forza Horizon 4 in a way because these videos are often like, oh, 100 million credits in 20 minutes, like, no, why would you need 100 million credits in the game? It's all pointless and oh, I, I'm just going to name a few creators I can think of right now. Monster Skills, that's another one. All through Forza Horizon 3 he did this. He streamed but was like, oh, giving away 50 million. Like, great. Like, no one really cares. You're building your channel through giveaways. That's just not how YouTube should work. You're telling people to subscribe so they're entered into a giveaway to do with Forza Horizon 4 credits. Like, you're streaming because you're giving away credits. It, it's not good. It's not a credit giveaway, is it? You've, like... I'm pretty sure Monster Skills modded the money in anyway through PC, I'm pretty sure. Can't 100% say that, but I'm about 95% sure that's what he does. So really, it's not really a giveaway, is it? Mitch Cactus is another one, like, that channel of... It just shouldn't exist, really, should it? That That is just not the Forza community right there. The Forza community should be built of people that enjoy the game, a creative in the game, so for making skits, cinematics, gameplays, funny montages, videos like that that are entertaining to watch and do not destroy the game as these money glitches or money giveaways are. Yes, money giveaways are good on Forza Horizon 4 if you're actually doing it to genuine subscribers. For example, I did it on Forza Horizon 3 when I had like 10 subscribers. I gave away a million credits, I think it was. Now that was because I had like 10 million I didn't, and I was like, oh, I might as well give it away, you know, it was for Christmas about two years ago, so that was quite fun to do, like, there's nothing wrong with that, but when you're giving away 500 million credits, no way have you earned 500 million credits from doing races in the game. These special pre-order cars are really getting out there nowadays, aren't they? They're being put into the auction house through mods, and then I believe that is causing people to be banned, and people are like, oh, giving away pre-order cars, well, you're not, are you? You didn't pre-order that car because pre-order cars you get from special pro sp from special places like Amazon or there's like a pre-order car from GameStop in America or something like that. So you can only possibly have up to one pre-order car, not like all five of them, because you didn't pre-order the game from five different stores, have you? You may be thinking, well, Hyrax, a few months ago you were sponsored by a coin company. Well, well, yes, I was. But you are paying for the coins in a way. Now, really, I, I, I would never buy coins for Forza Horizon 4 because it's too easy to get them. But then that's your choice in a way, isn't it? And, you know, they paid me and you're not going to turn down money, really, are you? Like, for a little 10-second ad at the beginning of your video. I've actually found another channel called Chilling, and they're just doing Forza money glitches. These channels I've noticed with Forza Horizon 4, that's what's popping up in the Forza community. Back in Horizon 3, Horizon 2, I don't recall any of these channels, like, a money glitch Forza channel, it just wouldn't exist, I don't think. Now, Forza Horizon 4, they're becoming more popular, and they get quite a fair amount of views as well, because people are like, Oh, I want money, I want money! Because they can't be bothered to actually just race in the game. Now, 
I, I haven't done that much racing in a game, and I've got a lot of money. You just get money from wheel spins and that, don't you? You just do from levelling up. Like, there's no real need to do money glitches in the game, I don't think. Because it's just so easy to get money. But yeah, these channels are popping up anywhere, and it's quite annoying, really, because, you see, actual racing game creators put time into their videos, but then a badly edited... Forza Horizon 4 money glitch that often contains a stolen thumbnail, like Mitch Cactus used to do, they will end up getting more views because people are searching that and they think, oh yeah, I'm going to get loads of money on Forza Horizon 4 now. Well, no you're not. Oh, sorry. I suppose money methods aren't too bad in Forza Horizon 4 because it's a method to get money in the game. That's alright, I suppose, but again, some people really do over-exaggerate this sort of stuff on their YouTube channels, so it's like glitch type channels where they're just like oh brand new working 2019 money method it's like well i don't really care mate Ooh, you're hard but the glitches are just just i think there should be bans handed out there should be bans handed out for people that glitch money into the game i think that's the best way to sort it ban people that glitching money into the game or modding money into the game or modding money into the game because well, it's basically like glitching isn't it really if you're modding or glitching money into the game or modding the pre-order cars into the game then I bans should be handed out not like a week ban lifetime bans because it's affecting the game really isn't it and it's really affecting the racing game community because then you get people with like 999 billion credits on Forza Horizon 4 then they go to YouTube and like oh 100 million credit giveaway people want that 100 million so they go on the video watch it and do all the stuff then that channel starts to get better because it's getting more views than that and us racing game creators that actually put time into our videos don't do as well as them because not as many people are watching us because we're not doing them sort of videos because we respect the game and the racing game community the absolute state of some of these thumbnails as well are almost funny, literally, it's either right, they're using Forza Horizon 3 screenshots, like, oh, I don't know why you're doing that, it's either a stolen thumbnail as well with some other text put over it, or just, just something terrible in it, I know people can't, not everyone can afford Photoshop, but I'm not, I'm not saying like, oh, you can't afford Photoshop, ha ha, I'm not saying that obviously, but I mean, it's just a bit silly how something made in paint will bring in more views than something a racing game creator has spent time on in Photoshop for a different racing game video, hopefully you get what I mean there. Okay, so I've found like literally the worst video I've come across on YouTube for Force Horizon 4, and the title is Forza Horizon 4 Modded Accounts Updated Packages. You can get packages of modded accounts for Forza Horizon 4. The channel that uploaded it is called OX Modder. Of course it is. Now the thumbnail, it's got a $50 price tag, so basically the price of the game. And um, it includes 999,999,999 credits. Prestige for level 587, so where's the fun in levelling up? All pre-order cars, the Ford Capri Forza Edition, now the Ford Capri Forza Edition, that's a really rare Forza Edition car you can only get from being extremely good at ranked racing and it's pretty impossible to get there at the moment and yeah, so that's why the Ford Capris are really rare Forza Edition. And you get 90% of all rare cars, not 100, just 90%. Over 18,500 wheel spins. I bet, I bet they're all like, uh, not super wheel spins as well, imagine that. They're just all the basic wheel spins. Over 1.7 million skill points and over 1.7 million Forza Fon points. Like, if you bought that, where is the fun in the game? Everything's done, you've got everything. What is the point? But honestly, this video's got 66 views. Let, let's go and read some of the comments on this video. Um, has anyone bought an account? I might get the $30 account. Right, great. You know, we've got a person, preferably cheating in Forza Horizon 4. If you come across this guy, he's cheated. Might have bought the $30 account. Oh, oh, oh. It goes to $80. I bought Forza Horizon 4 for £80, right? That is the most expensive version of the game when it was brand new. Pre-ordered it. And that, that is just crazy. You get everything, right? For $80. So you could, but you're basically buying two lots of the game. But two rare centers. Woo. You get traffic cars as well. Modded accounts for you. You get a null car. I mean, null cars are cool. But this is just stupid. 
stuff like this should be removed off YouTube and modded accounts shouldn't exist on Forza Horizon 4. Just hand out ban straight away. But anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys agree with me in the comments. Tell me down below if you do. And if you don't, please tell me why I don't. But yeah, just don't buy modded accounts and dodgy stuff like that. It just wrecks the game, doesn't it? So yeah, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new around here. But until next time, guys, peace out.